Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. You guys, there is a new article out that I thought we could read together and have some laughs. I'm Jen. Thanks for being here. Honk, honk, everyone. Today we we're talking about this one. That's right. I talked about it recently. I keep thinking about this. Say it with me, shall we? American Riviera Orchard. Why do I say it like that? Because the name makes no sense. So why not add dramatic flair to it, right? I keep thinking about that. And I've talked about it, but I'm bringing it back up here. So go with me on this journey. How are you going to launch something with nothing to it? We've seen the paperwork of what, like 150 items that are supposed to be going on this website and still crickets nothing. Like everything else, can't be bothered. Why launch it then? I'll tell you why. To try to get a dig in at William, Prince of Wales, as he was honoring his late mother. You really can't make that stuff up, can you? All right, let's get into this article and uh, take a look at what's being said, because it's pretty funny. This was shared by Kennedy on Daily Mail, and it says, Me first, Megan, is in a situation stickier than huckleberry jelly. Now, remember, I've been calling her Megan Marmalade because apparently she's peddling jams. Why not? Catherine, Princess of Wales, because nobody can get her name right, tragic cancer news now means American Riviera Orchard, sorry, let me try it again, American Riviera Orchard, makes no sense, must wither on the vine, or else Duchess, I don't say her title, but in this case, when I'm making fun of it, I will, risks looking like an unfeeling Viscountess of Venom. Ooh, that's a pretty good name for her. Has Megan, me first, Markle. That's, again, a great name. That is true. Me first. We've seen her shove past Harry a million times. Me first. Uh, has Megan, me first, Markle, misfired? That's a great alliteration since she likes those. The American Riviera Orchard launch is morphing into a massive headache for Princess Never Was. <laughs> I don't even, when I'm making fun, I don't want to give her the princess title. That's not... She's not that, so <laughs> it doesn't apply. Oh my goodness. All right, but I do like that. That's pretty funny. As frenzied fascination bubbled around the MIA Princess of Wales last month, Megan unveiled her gleaming grage. I've heard that before, and how funny is that? I, I'm sticking with that grage. That perfectly describes Megan and this American Riviera Orchard lifestyle brand. Some suggested that that one was callously piggybacking off so-called nope I won't say that either that pisses me off that um it goes with the where's Kate of it all they call it Kate Gate it's so rude all right she's picking off of don't worry and this author is being respectful she's just pointing it out that you know the frenzy of attention toward Catherine to f and she's using it to flog her new jams spreads and silly bits. <laughs> silly bits. That's fun. Others said they couldn't believe she was so carelessly cooking in a white top and no apron in that cringingly spewtastic promo video. Oh, man. This woman is on fire. I really like this. Cringingly spewtastic promo video. Either way, the timing felt like something of a snub to the Waleses. Absolutely. Again, are you new here? I'm not not knocking the writer, but yeah, I've done whole videos on this. She loves to time things out like this. And you want to know how I'm right? Well, because we have eyeballs and brains, but also because dumb, dumb plastic face, you know the one I'm talking about, Omid, put in his book, they don't do that. They, they don't time things out. Of course they do every chance they get. Either way, the timing felt like something of a snub to the Waleses. Stateside rumors about the health of their marriage were swirling to boiling point. Dirty duo Andy Cohen and Stephen Colbert were popping gags at Catherine's expense. And the proximity of Meg's Insta unveiling felt a little too close for Californian comfort as Prince William stepped out on stage in London just hours later at an award ceremony honoring his late mother. Ouch. Of course, the brand itself is a shameless royal masquerade. Can I repeat that? I'm going to. It's a shameless royal masquerade. That is exactly, that describes those two to a, to a <laughs> see, I'm tongue-tied again, to a T, shameless 
Royal Masquerade. All right. C. Megan, Duchess Defector, decked out in floor-length ball gown and phony baloney gold embroidered logo. Perhaps with the gossip gremlins working overtime to blow hot air about stricken Catherine, Megan couldn't pass up a chance to rub up against the royal fairy dust. Well, those idiots, and I'm saying both of them, probably should have thought about that before, I don't know, shitting on the entire royal family, um, you know, all the things that they've done. Being generally terrible people, maybe should have thought of that. After all, Loose Windsor Association and looser lips are the only things keeping her relevant. I think I said this before, but Kennedy, welcome to the Goose Club. You are now an honorary member because this is brilliant. Spotify and the harsh Hollywood desert are hardly plumping up her Mount Olympus. And so, cloaked in sepia and Montecito musk, she's promising scents and serums, dog beds, doilies, and napkin rings galore. Or is she? Dun, dun, dun. So that's how the article ends. But I'm not done yet because I'm stuck on this too. I think this is so well said and so well written um, and very funny, by the way. But um, I want to talk about this. So what now? We've seen the list of what, 120 or whatever it is, uh, 100 million items that she's planning to sell. That's what uh, Kennedy is referencing here. But what happens next? Will she see this thing through? Probably not. Will she live up to the lazy effing grifter title that these two have very much earned? Probably so. Will she somehow make herself the victim in all this? Yes, I assume so. Uh, let me know your comments and your predictions because I do, I, I really appreciate you all taking the time to write me and I enjoy what you have to say about all this. My prediction is, yeah, she done. Uh, she'll find a reason why it didn't work out and play victim somehow. And I don't know, probably blame this one. I don't know, but, um, she'll blame, she'll blame the Royal family. She'll play victim and couldn't possibly cop to the fact that Again, they're both miserable, unlikable people. And so people generally don't want to support people like that. It might have something to do with that. But why face facts, right? <laughs> why face up to anything that they've ever done, ever? Nothing's ever their fault. They're always the victims, as per usual. But I, for one, am here with a big bucket of popcorn to see what happens next. And um, yeah, how they'll try to spin themselves into victims and all this, because that'll be fun to watch guys. Thank you for everything. You're the best. I can't wait to read your thoughts on all this. Please let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? Do you, uh, truly though, uh, you know, I'm jokes is, well, no, I can't agree to that. Joke's still in place. Uh, do you think, are we done with this? Do you think she's done already before she even starts? Um, I saw the, the, uh, article saying she's hiring a CEO or whatever that is. And I just wonder, is it, is it officially done? Like, is it, dead in the water? What What do you think? Let me know. Do you think something will come out? Do you think it'll be like, I don't know, six things like a some jam and some, I can't even think what, something ridiculously overpriced? Some Something drop shipped? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But as always, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being so lovely to me. I want you to know how much it truly does mean to me. It does. I hope you all have the best day and I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. Oh my goodness. Too funny. I really like this writer. <laughs> all right. Hong Kong, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.